Realtree's Midwest Whitetail is brought to you by Hoyt, Hoyman Tree Saws, Lone Wolf Tree Stands, Nikon, Ozonix, Redneck Blinds, RTP Outdoors, Spot Hog Releases, Wasp Archery, Viking Solutions, and Realtree. intrusive and see if we see something from a distance and there's a chance that if we see a deer at a distance that we could um, just kind of lightly call just to, if he's aggressive enough to maybe pull him in so that's what we're doing tonight and we'll see how it works out. So I'm strapped in and we're at a little bit of a funny angle here, but um, a couple things I was thinking about tonight. One, um, walnut trees are the first ones to lose their leaves and they're the last ones to get in the spring. So you're always wide out, wide out in the open if you hang in a walnut. And right here for this observation stand, we did not have a choice. So next time I come up here, I'm gonna bring some cedar branches with me and probably put them up here, but always be, um, 
thoughtful of that when you're in a walnut. We just didn't have a really good choice. We didn't get busted up here, but the deer definitely would get a little spooky. And um, you can tell you're silhouetted. The second thing I thought about tonight is I've been I've been hunting and um, well farming corn, hunting around corn for years and years. And when I was a kid, I'd see deer bedded in the corn all the time. I don't really see that anymore. I see it a little bit, but not like I did when I was a kid. Two things I was thinking about tonight. One is we've moved from 36 or 38 inch rows on your on your planter to 30s and sometimes even 20s. So I think the um, the narrow rows on the corn might have something to do with it. And the second thing I thought about tonight is we've done a lot better with weed control in the corn, so they're really clean. When I was a kid, there was a lot more weeds in the corn that just didn't have the management like we do now. So just one thing to th I've just thought about tonight, watching these cornfields, I just do not see deer bedded in cornfields like I did when I was a kid. So pretty minor thought. Um, I don't necessarily have the answer and I might be totally off, but it's just something I thought about in a little bit of my opinion. So um, I think we're probably done for tonight. Uh, saw some really nice bucks and um, we're gonna keep giving it a go if it stays cold.